uh, it's 6 o'clock, and we're going to open the um, public hearing on uh, the warrant. And uh, if you'll join me with Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and thank you if you're watching and perhaps wondering why we are holding another public hearing regarding um, the warrant. Uh, basically, uh, we're prescribed by law a certain number of days uh, between um, posting and hearings and so forth uh, that needs to take place. And when uh, Eric and I and the Budget Committee set up the, uh, the budget agenda for the year, I think we did a good job, but there were a couple places I guess we didn't count the days exactly correctly. And that's all there is to that. Uh, so the public hearings where uh, you shared your feedback with us, um, uh, I appreciate people who paid attention to that and, and came to those hearings. Uh, but tonight, in, in a way, is sort of pro forma. We do need to do this. Uh, it is an opportunity for anyone who wants to speak on the budget. Um, but we will proceed probably fairly rapidly through this. And, um, and then we will have our regular six, uh, select board meeting at 6.30. Uh, we can't just do them in succession because we posted that we will start at 6.30 for a regular select board meeting. So there may be a bit of a, a pause, but that depends. Um, so uh, like the last two public hearings, we had a presentation on the budget, which uh, Eric did, uh, we'll suspend with that unless somebody would like to do that. Uh, I don't think Eric was was planning on doing that. I, I wasn't. I told, can certainly do it. If, I told uh, him. If I, needed to. I told him that was not necessary. <laughs> but that uh, presentation that we did at the last two uh, uh, budget hearings, the ones that you saw on the postcard, uh, was very thorough. And of course, that has been published and, and minutes recorded and, and so on and so forth. Um, so on the warrant itself, I'm going to <clears throat> approach it in the same way that I did um, at, at the last hearing, which was in groups of warrant articles, and hear if there are any comments on those and on the four ordinances that we are proposing. And uh, with that said, just like I did before, I'll invite uh, the public or any member of the board who would like to address everything in its totality, the budget and what we're doing uh, with the budget, to go ahead and do that now. This is really a every, everything's been said kind of thing, I think, to some extent. Um, so we'll proceed uh, with the annual meeting warrant itself. And as I noted last time, articles one through six are pro forma items. Uh, and when I say pro forma, they're regular items that you would see on any uh, warrant whether it was a town meeting warrant or a secret ballot warrant. And that is, of course, you elect a moderator, who your candidates are, um, and uh, the, the date being fixed to vote, uh, and when taxes are due, and so on and so forth. And, um, and number six, which is uh, if an article fails, you can only spend X amount, and so on and so forth. So on uh, town meeting warrant articles number one through six, are there any comments from the public or the board? Seeing none, we'll go through um, the next large one, which was uh, really what you saw in the budget itself. And that is, um, well, to a great degree, this is what you saw in the, in the budget itself. Articles seven through 20, which are the expenditure <coughs> expenses uh, the, the budget itself, what we plan to spend. So that goes from everything from the general government administration and so on and so forth through Article uh, 20, uh, which um, takes care of our bonding and, and debt service and so forth. So this is what we spend uh, in a year. Are there any uh, members of the public or members of the board that would like to address these items? I'd just like to point out in Article 9, yes. Conservation Committee money. Yes. That, uh, a big portion of that is uh, in grant money or um, it's not taxes. That's correct. Yep. Um, 
and of course later on in the budget when we do revenues we'll accept uh, grants and so on and so forth so and that's uh, John's comment is a very good one because uh, expenditures may include set aside monies they may include what we're appropriating from taxes they may include uh, monies from grants uh, or other sources or uh, that we that we have for revenues um, so um, no comments on 7 through 20 and by the way all those expenditure items do carry a recommendation of a yes vote please from the select board and a yes vote please from the budget committee um, article 21 I uh, kind of separated that one out uh, just simply because it has to do with an ordinance it's a brand new item and that is um, the money that would uh, be um, appropriated uh, for local tax relief that actually comes from the sale of a property uh, in town that we uh, sort of set aside that, side that money to address this. Uh, the, ordinance, the ordinance itself we'll talk about in a few minutes. Are there any members of the public that would like to address <coughs> Article 21 or members of the board? Okay, Articles 22 to 31. Um, I refer to those as community items and um, most of these items were originally brought to us uh, by uh, a request and a presentation originally and then um, I believe the process is they would send a letter in subsequent years if we are if they have a prior funding from us so these are items such as uh, so much for uh, family violence and 30 mile river uh, ordinance or the fact that we will take uh, money from uh, snowmobile registrations and ask the Reed Field uh, Blizzard Busters Club to uh, accept that money um, to uh, maintain trails, family violence I mentioned, um, and courtesy boat checks and so on and so forth. So there are items like that. Are there any, uh, and they all by the way carry yes recommendations from the select board and the budget committee. Um, are there any members of the public or the board that would like to address 22 to 31. Seeing none. Uh, 32 through 36 are really our appropriations and uh, spending authorizations. Um, and this is where we accept funding, such as the ever declining amount of uh, revenue sharing from the state. Uh, sorry about that editorializing, <laughs> but. It's entirely um, appropriate. I know. Um, but what we do in terms of. Um, uh, uh, raising money um, and accepting money and so those are it items uh, again 32 through 36 uh, they are the other side of the budget from expense their revenue and they also carry uh, recommendations from the select board and the budget committee uh, for a yes recommendation for passage would anybody like to address numbers 32 through 36 Seeing none, we'll go forward to 37 through 40. And 37 through 40 are actually the ordinances, and I'll just go ahead and list them because they are ordinances and they're the way we enact law, if you will, in the town. And the first one is 37, and that's the Property Tax Assistance Program Ordinance. And that does exist within your packet um, uh, because we're actually gonna sign these, physically sign these warrants tonight, right? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we'll be, uh, yeah. we'll, so that's, we'll be signing. That's an the, item in the in the select board meeting itself. Signing the return, which verifies that the process you alluded to oh, yeah. earlier was followed. Thank so. you. Um, are there any questions or comments on the property tax assistance program, which not only went through a couple of select board meetings, but also a couple of public hearings as well? Seeing none, we'll proceed to 38, which are is our changes to the land use ordinance. And basically, there to take care of conflicting language, update, add definitions, be in sequence with state law, uh, things of that nature. So, are there any questions or comments uh, from the public or the board on um, the land use ordinance? Just that there's almost every year changes to the land ordinance. That's correct. I mean, it's a very live thing, and we need to. A lot of state law is, is uh, affects uh, land use, um, and also just continually better definition of, of land use. Um, so moving on to 39 is the animal control ordinance, which is a largely rewritten ordinance. 
which was um, placed forward for a couple of uh, uh, select board meetings and, and both public hearings. And um, they clarify language, add definitions, and, and so forth. Any comments on Article 39, which is the Animal Control Ordinance? Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to the cemetery ordinance. Um, and so this is a new ordinance. And uh, basically, we had rules in place previously that were um, approved at town meeting. And this now will be operationally uh, the ordinance that governs um, um, the cemetery um, work that we have in town. Um, are there any members of the public that would like to address um, Article 40, the cemetery ordinance? Seeing none. I will say on all four of these, there was some good hard work done by volunteers, and I appreciate that. Uh, Article 41 is our, our question uh, to continue to use a secret ballot for the 2019 annual meeting. It's an advisory ordinance, and uh, I would also call that a pro forma, like one through six. So it's, it's on there as well. Any uh, comment on Article 41 or question? Okay. Um, is there anything anybody would like to say in summation uh, at this public hearing to address the budget in its totality or the entire warrant in its totality? I'd just like to say that it would be nice if people would come out and vote and take your time and go through the articles and vote for your conscience. Thank you. Anyone else? Just uh, being a part of my first uh, budget process, I agree with that. And I also think it's a lot of work by all of the committees together, cooperatively coming together and doing what's best for our town. And the trust I have in those committees um, because they have good people on them. I'll be shortening your select board comments by the amount of comment at this meeting. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's right. <laughs> There's a quota. It's a, it's a full night. That's right. <laughs> Anyone else? I'd like to uh, just remind our residents that uh, we can have a, a, as much information as you'd like to have on these subjects, uh, either by going to uh, our town website, uh, readfieldmean.org, uh, or um, giving a call here at the town office. I'm happy to answer any questions anybody has about any, any item uh, on the budget. Uh, or, or warrant um, uh, within the realm of um, sort of giving my opinion on it, I guess. But um, I certainly can provide information about the, uh, the details and the finances and all of that. So um, I'm available for the next month, essentially. Uh, and I do hope to talk to some residents if, if you have questions. If they got an absentee ballot already since they were available on the 11th, are they going to have to call and get the school? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I know they did hold off last week until they had um, uh, the state warrants, which finally came in Friday. So um, they have been holding uh, off until, um, but I don't know. They might have to do the school separately. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not certain. Have there been many? Has there been any voting activity? Uh, I think we've only had two or three requests okay. so far. Okay. Um, but that will quickly escalate. Okay. And. It, um, and that's a good thing. So um, town meeting is, um, or a town meeting voting by secret ballot is on June 12th. It coincides with the primary that's taking place in uh, the state and county offices and, and, and actually local legislative offices as well. It's, we're open 8 to 8 for voting and early voting has already, or absentee ballot as we term it. Um, but you can actually early vote because you can fill out it here if you wish. You can. Yeah. yeah. Um, has already started. Um, anything else? I declare this meeting closed. It's 6.30 in Reedfield, Maine. Hello, Please join me for Pledge of Allegiance. This makes three times today. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, God Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Hello. We have two. This is great. Thank you and welcome to um, the select board meeting uh, for May 14th, 2018. Uh, we completed early earlier tonight a public hearing. Um, 
And if it so suits the board, I will recommend that we take the age friendly committee uh, out of order since it was previously requested that we do that. And after the minutes and warrants, we uh, take that piece of business. That would be fine. That's so fine. The age Great. friendly committee is out of order. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. They must be That's those right. rebellious teenagers. That's it. <laughs> We'll proceed with the, um, the minutes. Uh, we have actually two sets of minutes to approve. The April 26th, which was a, uh, an executive session, and then April 30th, we'll take them in succession. Uh, could I have a motion in regards to uh, April 26th? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of April 26th. Second. It's been moved uh, to uh, approve the, the minutes of April 26th. Is there any discussion on the motion? All in favor. And for April 30th, uh, before we get into a, a motion, are there any corrections uh, that should be considered uh, beforehand? Seeing none, I'll take a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of April 30th, 2018 as presented. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the, me um, uh, the minute meetings of the select board for April 30th, 2018. Is there any discussion on the motion? All in favor? Thank you. We'll move on to warrants uh, 45 and 46. Dennis? Hello. Yes, uh, this week, uh, the warrants, um, it was my turn. I just want to point out a couple things um, on the basically the recap. It's the very first item, Androscoggin Bank. Uh, it's for 18000 uh, $445.96, um, and that is the last payment on the town truck. Uh, it is paid for. There are no more payments. Um, it is done, and, and our hope is to get at least 10 more years of service out of that car um, without ever having to pay any more on um, so that is a good thing. Thank you uh, for that. Everything else uh, pretty much in line with where we are now. Um, you can see there's all kinds of uh, stuff beginning uh, to work on uh, grading the roads, getting those ready, uh, and all of the various taxes and things of that nature on the back. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Um, so with that... I have a question. Um, oh, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. That's not a problem. Um, just checking the $746 for elections. Is that for ballot printing? Uh, that is actually, I believe, the uh, uh, requested uh, additional, if I remember correctly, the additional fee for um, uh, a rental, a secondary rental. Uh, because of the delay, um, and if it's not this, then I'm, I'm explaining something that's going to happen in the future. Um, <laughs> the um, uh, state delayed to the point of fault uh, taking any action on ranked choice voting. Uh, and so the company that we are required to work with for our voting uh, machines and ballots uh, did not have time to uh, program their machines to handle ranked choice voting. So the, the one machine we have uh, cannot handle both at the same time. So we are uh, on the hook to rent another machine. Um, and so I believe that is what the... Um, so that's a rental. That's a rental, yeah. And it's because um, they vacillated so long. They dragged right? their feet so long on it that uh, the, the company that they work with and we are required to work with couldn't program in time. So and that's so a one-time rental. For that's a one-time rental, yes. And I'm sure the state will be reimbursing us for that since <laughs> they <laughs> delayed. Yeah. Yeah. Right out of the rainy day fund, yeah. 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 Um, Just don't double. hold your breath. Great. So all municipalities are dealing with this. Uh, yeah. Any that don't have multiple. Uh, so some that have multiple are able to... Um, you know, cross reference. So this is actually mm -hmm. disproportionately affecting uh, and penalizing uh, smaller municipalities that may only have one one voting machine, such as ourselves. Okay. So. Thank you. Yeah. And the striping, the striping was for the, the it was already done at the transfer station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the rework to uh, okay. realign the spots, add some additional arrows, um, and uh, make a few adjustments to that. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you very much. <clears throat> could, could they, could be a ten or more? I'll, I'll get it later on. Dennis, do you want to make a motion? Uh, I certainly would. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the warrants uh, 45 and 46 in the amount of $71,322.98. Again, 
$71,322.98. I'll second that. And uh, the only comment I'll make is that we do usually mention the payroll oh. amount separately, so <coughs> that is $14,687.88. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, any, uh, so it's been moved and seconded to approve warrants uh, 45 and 46 in the grand total of $71,322.98. Um, any discussion on that motion? All in favor? Thank you. Thank you. And we'll proceed with uh, uh, article, I mean, new business item 18135, which is to hear a presentation by the Age Friendly <coughs> Committee to consider application for 2018 AARP Community Challenge Grant. Remain. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, first oh. of all, thank you for whatever you and your committee have done to bring us to this point. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you for taking me out of order. Yes. Um, my name is Romaine Turin, and I wanted to point that out to um, Mr. Price, who um, caused, accused me of making up my name and, and I was the butt of his uh, comedy act in Gardner. So uh, it's, 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 I'm the real it's thing. True. It's the real deal. Trust I me. never lie. Margie slightly. has already told me. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you. It was quite funny. Yeah, it was, it, it, yeah, it, it is. People it is. should go see Dennis Price. He's hysterical. Thank his you. group. It's, it's very, very, very funny. Um, but moving on um, so to the reason why I'm here is that we uh, we have um, uh, an opportunity to apply for a challenge grant from an ARP. It's approximately well, what we're going in for is approximately eight thousand dollars. And I drafted something, gave it to Eric, and Eric has been. I mean, we've been working hand in hand with Eric and the committee, and he's he's put a lot more work into it. But essentially, what we're doing is concentrating on the old fairgrounds as a hub of activity for the town. And we're proposing um, a number of items to be added to the fairgrounds, uh, including bleachers for um, people to walk to the ball field. I mean, it, that would accommodate people of all ages. It's not, it's fairly long distance to walk um, to the ball field. And um, lugging a chair isn't always easy for people. So, so we're proposing some bleachers, um, picnic tables, and some benches. And the type of benches we're looking at are those that have a back to them so people can lean back. Um, in addition to that, um, we're proposing a bench at the top of what we call Suicide Hill um, that overlooks Miranda Cook Lake. It's a beautiful area right there, and it's very peaceful. So I think it, it would be nice to have a bench there with a back, not only for people who may need a rest, but for people who just want to sit and look at how beautiful Greenfield is. So um, we're, we're putting together equipment um, that um, adds up to approximately $8,000, plus or minus. So do you have any questions about that? Uh, yes, so, so in the $8,000, you're pro so you're, <coughs> this is where the benches and the bleachers and right. all that stuff is right. coming Picnic from. Picnic table, bike rack for kids to, to um, ride their bike. Great. Have a place to put it instead of on the ground. Yep. Um, I think, you know, the eight, I, I'm sure it's most people in town, but you know the fairgrounds is, can really be a hub with its trails, its proximity to the cemetery, its con connectivity to the town, the library, stores, the emporium, whatever. So it's, it's um, I have no idea. It's you know we we submit it. We don't know how well we will do, but um, this year we have pictures, <laughs> so we really kind of beefed up the application and. I think it's a good proposal. And it says, oh, I'm sorry, just to follow up, it says that these are quick action grants. Yeah, um, we, they award the money in the summer, we have to spend it by November. Right, okay, so that's what I was gonna say, yeah. is that uh, what that means, but, and that's good, right? That would be uh, sooner yeah. the better. Okay, right. cool, thank you. Exactly. So the only question I have is, um, do we, have we talked with the Trails Committee and the Conservation Commission about this I mean well last we applied for this grant last year yes um, and we had a much bigger proposal grander mm -hmm. much more money and I think that kind of shot us in the foot 
And when I, when I started my work on it last year, I did contact the Conservation Committee and the Trails Committee, and I solicited ideas from them. Okay. And, and the library as well. And that, what we had done was pretty much what we're doing at the fairgrounds, but included the, the mill stream and the library and mm -hmm. more, more. So this particular proposal, this particular application, I have, it hasn't been vetted by them, but. Um, but it's sort of like a reapplication. It's, it's, it's a, a smaller more version of what smaller we. Smaller version of it. Smaller yeah. version of what we did before, <clears throat> and actually, to you know, they, those groups came up with the ideas. So Great. Some of the ideas. Great. I mean, yeah. And you'll find out by June twenty fifth. So yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the deadline is Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, the 16th yes. day. Yeah. And do you, we need action for them to submit the grant? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. we should take action to I'd, authorize. I'd uh, like pursuing the grant. I would like to make a motion to authorize the Age Friendly Committee to um, post an application for the 2018 AARP Community Challenge Grant. I second that. It's been moved and seconded uh, to proceed. Uh, applying for this grant uh, with, a, with a good luck <laughs> Thank you. with that great application. Um, any discussion on that motion? All in favor? Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. You're released. Is, no, I'm not. I think, is there another issue? Um, I, I, can, well, may oh. I bring up another issue? <clears throat> Or don't uh, I go need ahead. to? Well, Eric, go it, ahead. Yeah, I think the intent was that um, during the board and committee comment period, um, that that was when you would have been able to talk about. But I think go ahead. You, you're already out of order, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, not out of order, but out of order. Out yeah. of order. <laughs> uh, this will be very quick. Um, as you know, um, we are a five-member <clears throat> uh, five-member board appointed by you all. Mm -hmm. um, we have two additional people who come to every meeting, almost every meeting, and do a significant amount of work. And, and I, I had suggested the possibility of expanding our committee to accommodate them. I mean, they certainly should, they come, but mm -hmm. they should be recognized in a more formal way. And so we um, bandied around ideas, and the idea was proposed that we could have associate members or something, two associate members, so we we, we stay an odd number group. And you can talk about this after I leave if you want to do it in your proper order, but it's mm -hmm. a way to recognize and, and solidify their commitment to the work that we're doing. I, um, think, I think that's great. We do have some boards that carry alternate members, um, and alternate members can attend full meetings all the time, but mm -hmm. it also gives you uh, the ability, if someone's away, to have mm -hmm. A quorum, a quorum and yeah. a vote. W would that, it or really, would you like to expand to seven members? I guess that's what I'm it asking. Really, it really doesn't matter. I think that the voting, we don't vote that often. I'm sure you, you know, don't. We, it's not that it's it, it's an our activity doesn't really involve a lot of voting. Um, I just I just I I guess I just ask that you create something to make them a form a formal member and recognize the work that they do. What do we so. have to do to change the structure of that committee? Um, <clears throat> make a motion. You would just make a motion. Yeah, it is a, just a committee of the board. Um, it's yep. a, a full committee, standing committee. Mm -hmm. um, but you have the ability at any time to just add members or however you like to do it. And it doesn't matter to me. OK. So that's, that would be the other request. So, I, so I think the alternates is probably more in keeping with what we do. Um, and alternates can go to a full meeting unless you want to make this a seven member yeah, board. Al yeah. alternate, alternates can attend the meeting and discuss, but they can't vote. Right. right. Or you have them on the unless road there's committee an absence, too. Yeah. I'm sorry? You have them on the road committee too. Yeah. Well, but we, it guarantees we, you a quorum. That's right. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I think the only drawback in my mind <clears throat> of going to a larger committee is then in the future, if you don't have as many people interested, it's harder to fill a seven member committee. Hmm. I don't know that that's enough reason not to make it a seven member committee, but I can't think of any other reason that we wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Well, we can certainly make it a uh, five member board with three alternates or something of that nature, with up to three alternates. Yeah. Well, let's say but two alternates. But then they can't vote, so. Yeah. I'm just wondering if, since this committee 
does a, probably is going to do a lot of community outreach and a lot mm -hmm. of grant writing over time. Mm -hmm. um, having a larger committee, would that stand better on an application? It might, I suppose. I don't know. But it would actually mean you would have to have four for a quorum. Well, that's why we talked about an associate yeah. um, member. And, uh, you know, it's... Then I would go the alternate route. Yeah, we could yeah. give her two alternates. Right. Yeah. Let's get a motion it, on the floor. I'd like to make a, pro a motion, not a proposal. I'd like to make a motion to um, expand the membership on the age-friendly committee to be five full members and two alternates. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. The two people that are attending now would need to actually fill out an application. Correct, and they're willing and then, to do that. And that would be great, and then they would come to a meeting over the summer yeah. or in the next and, few weeks. And what we're trying to avoid was there was one <coughs> member who was saying, well, I'm not, I was sick, I really haven't done that much, maybe I should resign. And I don't, that's not, mm -hmm. that's not, what we want yeah we want right. participation and yeah yep. right with the understanding people have things happen in their right. life so then mm -hmm. when an alternate is there and someone and a regular member is not there the alternate votes vote. that's yeah. correct right and so. they get invited to the volunteer yeah. recognition mm -hmm. and yes. they're listed Absolutely. as yeah. all yes. they're listed yeah. as a member rather than mm -hmm. yes Yep. Matter of fact, these two volunteers should be invited to the I, I, I believe I, absolutely. I, I yeah. believe they are, <coughs> yeah. but it would be easy to overlook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're way out of order, I think, but we're, we're going to sew this one up. Push a little. Any further discussion? <laughs> All in favor of the motion? Thank you. How's Thank you that very for expediency? Much. I, I huh? totally appreciate it. <laughs> You have to change your name, though. <laughs> I, I was there that night. I just died. I just died, man. I didn't see you there. I was up on the Oh, my island. gosh. It was oh, fantastic. Was, I think he said, Romaine. your name? Oh, thank you. And that was Jen. <laughs> Jen did not believe it. She could, yeah. He She's said, so proud. He said, what is your name? And I couldn't get it out. I just, I just sat there. You just knew you I were just, in for it. I knew. It was right. For lots of, uh, Improvisation. Oh, so thank you. Good. Oh my good day, Ruby. Thank We're you. back in order. Do we want to take him out since he's the only other person here? Yeah. Uh, I already offered uh, okay. Tim to take him out of off order. Time, uh, he, he said he was just happy to see the rest of the agenda. So I think That's we're right. going to. Sure. I think it'll help us move along. Okay. Uh, Diggity. <laughs> to get to him sooner. So, so select board communications. Any members of the select board that would like to uh, uh, say anything? I know you do, John, because we just had a great event. Yeah, we did uh, the roadside cleanup last Saturday. It was very successful. We had a we had a group Saturday morning that could make it. Um, we picked up probably I don't know 16 to 18 bags, um, part of a desk, um, you know, just. Kind of random things and also during the week um, <clears throat> a lot of folks went out on their own and did a certain road and they would contact me and say okay p ridge is done nickerson hill road's done this road's done which was a big help really a, a <coughs> huge help because not everybody can make it on a saturday morning especially um, so I want to thank everybody, uh, greatly appreciated, and uh, we cleaned up, I, I would say probably close to 30 bags of trash, and a lot of those little nip bottles, <laughs> those I wish those things would be outlawed. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, John. And, and the and other thing, well, I got a, two ahead. more things. <laughs> well, John, actually, I'm going to interrupt you and just say that I do thank you for coordinating this year upon year. Um, it's really something that uh, yep. is appreciated, and the town's taking some pride in its appearance, and I really appreciate you doing this. And I, Go ahead. I also want to thank my wife for furnishing lunch mm -hmm. for those that were there on Saturday. Yes. Um, good job by all. The other two things, one is the, um, I wish someone would pay a little more attention to the traffic flow at the transfer station. I was there for maybe 10 minutes Saturday, or maybe longer than that, and 
One car had just pulled up to the, uh, between the recycle and the mainstream and just stopped. Uh, and I know there were a couple of attendants there. They might have been busy with something, but, you know, um, and somebody else was parked halfway out into one of the lanes. Just, just paying attention so we can keep the flow going there. The other thing I noticed Saturday morning, and I was very pleased that while we were there, as we all know, those of us who have been to the Fairgrounds property, there's a trail that goes right through. It comes from the right-hand side, goes through the parking lot, and off into the left-hand side. And I'll bet I saw at least a dozen people there using the trails. That, that's in, I was there from quarter nine to quarter past nine in the morning, and then from probably noon to 12.30. So probably in an hour and 15 minutes, I saw people walking dogs, I saw families with kids, and you know, it's really nice to see our trails being used. So thank you for all the work that I've done on trails and conservation and Trails yes, thank yeah. you great job. Yep. All That's all I got. Thank you. Any other board members? Yeah, I just want to say that the uh, upcoming uh, Reed Field Family Day, we're still we're, as a, we're, we're family working fun on day. Family Fun Day, that working title. Uh, but um, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, and, and I'm hoping that this is something that we can do, but um, we want to we wanna sort of put together uh, you know, and, and make sure people come out and, and, and support this. If, if, are we, are you looking for help on the committee, Chris? Oh, yeah. 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 And so, uh, one thing that I had mentioned is, you know, I think we need to have sort of a central place and hearing tonight with the, the fairgrounds and stuff like that. It'd be great to have a stage somewhere, maybe do something like that, some, some music or something like that. So we're, I'm excited to work with Chris, uh, on this and, and sort of help, uh, uh, create a little bit of a uh, an atmosphere, and so uh, check it out. We're, we're, we we want it to, to be something that uh, folks can come out and support. So thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody else? We'll move on to town staff reports. Eric. All right. Um, I, I participated in that roadside cleanup, and I got to say, as road commissioner, there's nothing better uh, than walking the entire length of a road. Uh, and seeing exactly what those ditch lines look like and exactly what those culverts are doing. Uh, and uh, I had the pleasure of working on, uh, on Sturdivant Hill Road. Uh, and and it, was, um, it was quite a walk. Uh, nice. But uh, I, I, I enjoyed it. And um, you know, it, it really is beneficial to see uh, what happens. And especially with that road um, you know, being as old as it is, uh, paved probably 10 years ago, I think, close to it, uh, what great condition it is in because it has proper drainage and a proper base to it. And so I think that we're gonna see more and more of our roads uh, lasting uh, that amount of time. It gets a fair amount of traffic, but, but boy, that, that road holds up well, yeah. um, so. It gets a lot of traffic. Yeah, it does. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to make that, that comment that up close and personal, it's hard to miss, uh, <laughs> hard to miss anything. So um, I'll start with my, uh, my town manager's report. I'll have to apologize in advance if I, um, cough or um, got a little bit of allergy stuff going on right now so don't we all um, <clears throat> it's been um, a tough couple days here but uh, I want to report that uh, sweeping uh, will be happening I say in my report the next two weeks uh, I did get a confirmation that we will be uh, starting this week weather permitting weather looks good so uh, sweeping is uh, imminent um, the um, uh, the library book drop, uh, again, that was going to be next week. It's actually going to be this week. Uh, it should be um, back today uh, if uh, all went to plan with our maintenance staff this afternoon. So uh, anybody out there that has library books, you can bring them back to the library. You don't have to bring them to the town office um, or to the library during open hours. The book drop is back. And uh, uh, I want to thank the, um, geez, I'm forgetting the name of the, uh, the school, but it's a, uh, um, industrial arts uh, program in Augusta, I think for high school kids. Uh, and uh, they did all the sandblasting. Ooh, that's um, good. And I, I, I'll bring it up next time because I want to recognize the actual program. But um, it Is was- the regional vocational school? Yeah, it was the regional vocational school. That's what it was. 
uh, and they volunteered to clean that up for us. They did the sandblasting and painted it, so um, uh, I'm, I'm very excited to nice. see it. Uh, and then uh, the last point is uh, the road committee. Uh, we discussed during the budget process uh, funding uh, repairs to the Marina Cook, or not the Marina Cook, the uh, Torsi Pond um, bridge uh, without anticipating that we would actually complete that work this year. Uh, however, we've had a request from the uh, Torsi Pond Association who is responsible for the dam. The dam is actually um, the abutments for the dam and the abutments for the bridge are one and the same, they connect. Uh, so uh, per their request, uh, they came and spoke with the um, uh, road committee, made a presentation and uh, requested that we uh, actually uh, move ahead a bit more quickly on that rather than waiting because they were concerned about some of the cracking. Uh, they had a, a good discussion and uh, they've recommended that, uh, that we proceed uh, with that. So that's the direction I would like to be heading uh, is to, um, to try to get that work done for them. Uh, we anticipate the town share will be less than $10,000, so I'm looking at a quote process. Uh, there aren't many companies that do um, like a peroxy, a perox, um, oh, epoxy, excuse me, uh, type injection into these cracks. So uh, we'll only be able to get two or three quotes anyway, I think. Uh, so it seems like an appropriate fit uh, for that work. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, moving on to uh, administration and personnel. Um, <coughs> We are still, we, we actually just had an interview today, so we might not uh, still be looking for maintenance uh, position, uh, seasonal part-time, but if anybody is interested, uh, we do always have a need um, to have people on hand, uh, and uh, so we will still be accepting applications for um, part-time seasonal maintenance position. Um, uh, Rob Kincannon was hired as the beach superintendent. Uh, he actually had worked for four years prior as a beach attendant with Tom Donegan, so he's kind of the uh, heir apparent at this point for that. Um, and our transition from having uh, a completely dedicated volunteer spend hours and hours and hours uh, chasing geese away at 2 a.m. and things like that, uh, to moving to a, a position where we have a paid beach superintendent uh, and having volunteers or uh, others uh, coordinated through the state. We're actually working with the state for a program um, to get staff in. But regardless, uh, he's been hired as our beach superintendent for the, for the summer, uh, and I very much look forward to working with him and getting some programming up and running uh, for the beach. Uh, we are still actively trying to pursue swim lessons and um, uh, ways to get people down there to get passes and use that resource. Um, on that, uh, it's not in my notes here, but uh, we are also having Kent's Hill School outside of their normal community service day. Uh, we have 11 students from their science class coming down on the 22nd to do erosion control work at the beach. So that will include some stone work uh, and some buffer plantings uh, at the beach. So um, again, some great volunteer work happening down there. Uh, the transfer station, um, the uh, stricter contamination standards uh, that we have all been hearing about in China uh, are trickling down. Uh, we, of course, um, are part of that system, part of that process. Uh, and so uh, we are working with EcoMain to increase our education efforts. Uh, we have some members of our solid waste committee uh, going to an education event uh, this is it this month or next? I think it's this month. There's one this month and one next. Okay, that's right, yeah. Um, and we're also hoping to pass some of that down to the residents. Uh, I find with my trash, uh, one of the biggest things that, that I see that ends up in the trash that really shouldn't is plastic film. Uh, and it's not trash. It is, in fact, recyclable. However, uh, it is a special type of recyclable item. It is not single sort. So if you have those plastic films, uh, we've got two options. Either you can drop them off at Hannaford because they have a collection there, or uh, you can drop them off at the transfer station. We have a special separate barrel. If you can't find it, ask for it. Our staff will direct you to it. Uh, and that stuff is recyclable. And then we bring it to Hannaford. So uh, two options there. But uh, that's one of the big items that we see that is a, is a main source of contamination in our recyclables. So I want everybody to be aware at least is, of that one item. Is that like the big plastic covers your pellets? And yep, uh, the, the pellet bags, the pellet covers, um, um, not chip bags, but um, the, the kind of stretchy, like a dough bag, yeah. like you might get. Um, there are certain, if, if it has the recyclable label on it, 
uh, and it's a very thin film, then typically that's what we consider okay. you know, plastic film. No, Shopping is, bags, uh, classic the, example. The, the, the Hannaford bags are... Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. So we can take those to Hannaford <clears throat> or you can take them to Hannaford. Yeah, and, and even a, a, any kind of, like those pellet bags, all that plastic film, it's actually an industry program where they are responsible and they partner with certain drop-off sites. So they partner with Hannaford, Hannaford collects all the plastic, it gets sent off and it typically gets made into, into to plastic decking okay. uh, is a primary use for it. Good. But, um, anyway, contamination, we're, we're going to be working very hard to make sure we limit that over the next several months <coughs> uh, to get the most we can out of our recyclables. And uh, just one thing that I also read on the EcoMain site was that, or we heard from somebody, and maybe it was from you when you were at your conference, is that the transfer station attendants are going to have to be very vigilant in every transfer station, not picking on ours, um, but to make sure that contaminants aren't going in. Yeah. So we may have to be a little more judicious about kind of opening your bag first before you just dump it and then they see all this stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. No, so absolutely. We'll Everybody have to has kind of to be figure more that careful. out. <clears throat> you have a smartphone, you can do the Recyclopedia, oh, which yeah. is from EcoMain. <laughs> yes. And that app is available and you just type in whatever the item is and it'll tell you whether it's recyclable or not. Yeah, that's an excellent resource. And, you know, all this has made me kind of think about, oh, have we been doing it right all along, you know? <laughs> and probably not in a lot of cases. Uh, we've, been, we've been a little bit lax, and so it's, it's not a bad thing for us to, to be focusing and, and, and um, being more specific in what we put in the, in the recyclables. Um, uh, moving on, uh, we have a special collection. Um, actually, I already mentioned that. Um, we do have a household hazardous waste collection. I'm not sure that's on here, but uh, it should be. Um, this Saturday, uh, if you are able to um, uh, pre-register, it is required, but you can come to the town office, you can call us, contact us, um, get a form at the transfer station. Um, but we will be uh, ex working with uh, Augusta Public Works uh, at their facility on North Street in Augusta to uh, collect hazardous waste. So that is happening this Saturday. Uh, I think it's 10 to noon and um, uh, pre-registration is required. So I'll make that point. Uh, and then um, the striping of the transfer station, we talked about that during the um, uh, warrant process, uh, has been taken care of and so that, that's been improved as well. And we're always looking for comments and feedback. Uh, John made a comment about it, um, but uh, we, we hope to continue to improve that. Uh, two um, announcements here. I have um, uh, for you, absentee ballots are now available, uh, and I will look into that question about the school. Um, I don't know if that is something that can actually be done absentee. You might actually have to go to the meeting. I think last year they sent it out if you called and asked for it okay. the last time because it was not available when the absentee ballots went out. Yeah, I expect it's going to be the same this year, but I will look into that. Okay. Um, and Kristen will remind me. They will not be available. <laughs> They won't. Okay. All right. So there we but go. You can still request your ballots. But then will they be able to still get an absentee ballot for the school? Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. All right. That answers that. I should have asked before. Um, and then the last uh, um, uh, announcement. We've talked about this once already, but secret ballot voting is um, on the 12th of June from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And that is my uh, town manager's town manager's report. Any questions on that? No questions, <coughs> but you might mention to Rob that if he wants to do something for Family Fun Day at the beach, that would be great. I will mention. I'll, I'll get him your contact. Thank you. <laughs> so you're sort of becoming a committee of one. Committee yes, of it's, one. It's uh, Heritage <laughs> Day's <laughs> just slim. Dennis just joined up. <laughs> I just joined up. We're well, teaming it, up. It, We're it, taking over the world. It really <laughs> is. And the, the more I look at that and the work that's being done and the effort that's been being put into it, I, I don't think that there's a reason for us to um, separate the two. I think that moving forward, it makes all the sense in the world, um, subject to, to any discussion at town meeting, but to, to have Heritage Days every year uh, and maybe only have fireworks and big events um, every other or, or find some way to... To, to work it, but um, I mean, there's a tremendous amount of work going into this. Um, and the committee actually last year did an excellent job uh, with the revenues they pulled in. They were only able to, the only net cost was about $5,000. So in all actuality, um, we could, uh, with that 5000 annual budget, 
probably do something like a big event, fireworks, or a big event, a concert, um, or paying for Dennis and his show, you know, because that's like four grand, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, oh, my Lord. <laughs> but in any well, event, You can give up uh, your day job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the idea <laughs> that, that, that we could do something like that every year, um, I think it'd be phenomenal to have that continuity. So well, I would throw that pitch in. There's interest um, from the community. <clears throat> I mean, you just asked, and all these people are saying, yes, yes, my group, my group, so... Yeah, there it, people don't want it to just not happen this year, so they're all making it happen. Yeah, good. Um, can I can I take a, can I can I maybe tangentialize for a moment? But ask still on the same idea. Ask, ask Bruce. I, I think it would be really great. Um, and and I I know Sean Keegan. We appointed him. I know Hannah. Yes. Are, they're all doing some great <coughs> recreation stuff. But I want a softball game that day. I, I, we need to have, I, you know, a softball game. The, the, yeah. the high school is easy to get to from the, 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 the fairgrounds and from <coughs> the downtown area where the union meeting house. It, it needs to, what we were talking about is a, a circuit. We have to drive people all the way around so that they can see all the stuff. And I, I, I think when, when I think about the work that we have done in terms of budgeting and things like that, I, I think sometimes I forget what an incredible resource the Marana Cook community, uh, uh, fields, the track, the tennis courts, all a part uh, and, and absolutely part of this town. Um, and, and softball fields, you know, I, I mean, I, I, you know, baseball fields in the back, it's just, it's well cared for. It is an asset to this town, and I think those things could be used for those days uh, to, to do that. So that's another aspect yeah. that sometimes I think we lose sight of there. That track is amazing. It is. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it, they are tremendously well cared for. Al up there does a great job with everyone. So that's a resource we want to use as well. There's no reason that it can't be a full town activity. Good. Well there. Thank you. Why don't we move on to the treasurer's report? Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. I, I thought you were going to limit his comments. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, right? Yes. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I have the feeling he's no longer considering himself a newbie. No. I am not. Yeah, I am not. This is my, I'm, I, June comes. I am no longer saying I'm new. It's good. Um, June. All right. Um, uh, treasurer's report. Uh, check reconciliation. This is for the month of, of April, um, completed through April 30th, 2018. Um, we did have a few adjusting uh, journals ent entries uh, for uh, things, uh, for example, that were put into the wrong account. We had to make a correction, so uh, those uh, would show up as a net zero uh, on the uh, journal summary list that you have. Um, and you'll see usually some kind of reference to a uh, wrong account or correction. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, otherwise, uh, there was no unusual activity on, on um, uh, any of our accounts or our journals. Um, uh, the audit, we uh, are uh, hopefully tonight finishing up um, a review of the, um, of the um, audit RFP. Uh, we have had some feedback from the budget committee uh, and uh, I think we've had some very good comments on it. So I'm looking forward to getting that out uh, and uh, looking for a, a four to five year um, uh, contract moving forward. Um, comments, uh, we had some unusual numbers as we always do and I like to highlight those. Um, not to pick on protection, uh, but they had a month-to-month uh, -month, um, between 2017 and 18. They had a, a pretty dra dramatic 351% increase. Uh, and so I looked into that and why that was. Uh, and it's entirely explainable. We had uh, a couple of large payments that appeared in this month um, that normally would appear in other months. Uh, and we had some uh, maintenance on equipment uh, vehicles that was um, uh, a part of that as well that added to it. So uh, sometimes you get big changes and, and it's, just, um, it's just the way things fall. Uh, otherwise, uh, we should be at around um, 83% expended and um, uh, for, for rev expense accounts uh, and for revenue coming in, um, seasonal changes accepted. Uh, and we are, I think, seeing the last of our um, kind of ups and downs on uh, tax revenue collection. We, uh, since December, have had some pretty unusual months, and I'm not sure if it had to do with the weather or, or what, but we had, um, I think some of it had to do with uh, the federal um, uh, tax uh, changes uh, where people were prepaying. But uh, we're finally, I think, getting back to the um, normal pattern, and I expect June and July uh, will be uh, fairly stable, uh, 
consistent with what we normally see uh, because it's been a wild uh, five months so far. Uh, and that's my report. Wild but not treasure. deviating from in in a material way from what's anticipated. No, no. And if you look at the year to dates, we're actually pretty close to where we should be right. um, for, for, for most everything. And so that's the one um, uh, the one thing that, that gives me confidence that we are getting getting to the end of it. Um, thank you for making that point, Bruce. I have one question. Please. <coughs> it's two parts. Um, on the receipt summary, yes. I don't know why I have announced this before, but we have on type, we have auto registration, but then we also have motor vehicle. What is the difference? There were only three auto registrations. Does um, that mean like automatic done online? I'm looking at Kristen because, yeah, um, I know that the motor vehicle is where our normal registrations go through yeah. standard registration process. So the um, auto, I don't know. The auto one is, um, for some reason, if our computers decide to say, hey, we don't want to work anymore, then we have to manually enter everything in. So it's code number one, not 99. Thank you. And then same with, um, same with boats or sporting licenses, if we have to manually enter them in because it's not going underneath the right code. Perfect. Thank maybe, you. Maybe we should change it to manual instead of auto. <laughs> yeah right. Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah. But but no um yeah no that's a very good observation. Great, thank you. You said it was two parts. That was it. She answered the other part in <coughs> okay, her great. answer. Okay, um, Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to boards, committees, commissions, and departments. I want to thank the trails committee for their minutes um, of March twenty seventh, and the library board of trustees for their minutes of April fourth. Uh, are there any members of the public who would like to address the select board? Seeing none, we'll move on to old business. Uh, we will sign uh, the return <coughs> for the June 12, 2018 town warrant. We had a public hearing earlier tonight, and that public hearing um, completed the process, and so this is where we'll officially sign uh, the warrant. Um, while we're circulating the signature, there's no um, motion or action that needs to take place on 18120 except to affix your signature, please. Um, 18124 is to extend membership on the ad hoc solar committee to include the trails committee. This was uh, by request of the trails committee. Um, I certainly have no um, um, reason to. Uh, uh, say that that would be a poor idea. More heads we can put together, um, that's fine. I do want to really uh, get that ignited and going. So this would be really kind of, I think, the closure to now move forward. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a membership to uh, extend um, the membership on the ad hoc solar committee to include uh, up to two members of the trails committee. I'll second that if that was a motion. It was a motion, so it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion on the motion? All in favor? Thank you. Uh, we've already heard um, 18135, and now we'll ask Tim to um, uh, go ahead with his presentation by the Conservation Commission, um, and we're going to consider some bids for trail work at the Torsi Pond Nature Preserve and the Fog Farm. Uh, recreation area. Tim, how are you tonight? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you, Bruce. And thanks for the clean roads. We do appreciate it and we are aware of it. Uh, and I think Eric will maybe be helping me on this too some, but I am Tim Sniffen. I'm a member of the Conservation Commission. And I guess to sort of uh, stage it, uh, at our meeting last Tuesday night, the 8th, uh, we did pass uh, a motion to recommend to you, the select board, uh, the acceptance of the low bid to do the trail infrastructure replacement project um, in the coming year. Uh, and I can try to give you some more br briefing on that. Um, there were four bids that came in. Uh, uh, I can't even remember the exact names of the different um, contractors or organizations that sent them, but they had all been represented at the uh, site visit, which we held, I think, Monday a week ago. And um, 
or maybe it was I guess the previous week. So at any rate, all of the bidders uh, came to the site. Um, the low bid came in from the Appalachian Mountain Club uh, for a, a figure $28,952. Uh, and this will include replacing and removing the old lumber from the structures that I think you have a photograph of um, if you wanted to look at it. Uh, this is a project that's been going on for the last two or maybe even three years, at least in our minds. Uh, and I'm not sure whether you have any questions about it. I don't want to ramble on any more than necessary, but I'm glad to. Um, Tim, I, um, um, first of all, thank you for all the work that the Conservation Commission did on this and, um, uh, you know, and, and the, continual, um, you, the continual guardianship, if you will, of, of those properties and, and good stead for the community. Um, I guess, yeah, I read through all four applications, okay. uh, bid applications. Um, I, I can't tell you how excited I am that the Appalachian Mountain Club is the low bidder. Oh. Uh, I have been, uh, I grew up in New Hampshire, I have been walking on trails that the AMC um, has built and maintained since uh, their uh, start in I believe the late 1800s, um, all over New Hampshire and Maine as well. Uh, they're very active in the northern part of Maine around Moosehead Lake now with trail build, building. You may remember the AMC guides. Um, uh, they literally do hundreds and hundreds of trails, and I absolutely had no idea that they also uh, did trail. I mean, I knew they had trail crews. I actually uh, know where they train them and, and so forth in New Hampshire in the Pinkham Notch area, um, and I've met them on the trail before. They're very, very skilled, um, and, uh, but I had no idea that they did this as a private enterprise as well. Uh, I think it's just great. That's probably very good for them, and, and it's good for us too. So, I couldn't be more pleased that uh, you know the kind of expertise that they're bringing to to bear. And I'm sure these other operations have great expertise too, but at a very good price. They were higher um, bids, and no. I think Jerry yep. was pleased that Appalachian Mountain yep. Club uh, came in uh, at the low. Uh, he's worked with them before, uh, feels comfortable with them. They know their work. And um, <coughs> so, yes, thank you. Yeah, we agree. So, I, yeah, I, I, I would go ahead and move uh, that we, um, and, and that's what we're looking for tonight is a motion, right? Right. That it's up to you. I to think, you, Eric, that you can say what the select board needs to do better than I can. Yes, Bruce. I'm always uh, asking the town manager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so well, yes, yeah, so, no, the, a, a motion uh, to um, accept, accept the low bid and to proceed with the work. And um, I just want to say it was a stellar process from the very beginning, from starting with the grant on through the bid development, um, the bidding process. It was very well organized, and uh, um, the Conservation Commission did an excellent job. Jerry did an excellent job. Um, they did everything right. Uh, and it uh, it shows we've got some good bids, uh, and uh, also very pleased with the result. So, thank you. And I'll be very curious when they're doing the work itself physically, because I would like to just walk by the work site. And well, if you want to do more than walk by, I think that we. I, I know they would like to, my to back. Yes. Brush, yes. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is why we have a trails committee. Um, anyhow, um, I'm going to go ahead and make the motion that we um, proceed uh, with the. Uh, bids for trail work at the Torsi Pond Nature Preserve in the Fog Farm Recreation Area, uh, as recommended by the Conservation Commission in the low bid acceptance for the Appalachian Mountain Club. Second. Second. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> Chris has seconded it. Is there any discussion? Um, should we state the amount in the bid? In the motion? Yes, I mean in the motion. Well, I simply meant as presented, and that total labor equipment and materials uh, should be noted as $28,952. And there is an addendum. And there is an addendum. Um, if for, there is additional work. Yeah, for uh, bog bridges would be 110 each, and um, hauling with some materials out for the transfer station be an $850 lump sum. So. Still, it's still a low bid by far. It is. I think, Tim, did you talk about, um, I don't believe that you were looking at, um, the committee anyway was looking at, a commission, excuse me, 
uh, looking at that 850, I think that the, the intent was to, to not pursue that. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, yeah. Can you we, clarify we, that again? Come again? That was hauling materials out of the woods into the transfer station. So we're not going to pursue that? We're not going to pursue that bid okay. alternate, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, great. Um, and the so figure may end up being lower than that amount because they're going to give us advice on some of the stuff that might we might think <laughs> needs do doing, and they may say, you know, you don't really need to do this. So it may end up being less than their bid. Yeah, and actually that's another good thing to look at because they're going to advise along the lines of reduced impact as well. I think so. Uh, for both scenic and yeah. e ecological reasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. When are they, I walk those trails with my dog quite a bit. When are they doing that? Well, they actually may wish to start on some of it before the end of this fiscal year, which is possible for us. We have the finances that can, yes. can work that. Okay. Um, it should be um, done before the end of fall, okay. um, and that certainly is our goal, and I think they may have some more stringent, they work with crews, they work with uh, student crews, I'm not sure, so, but, but it would certainly be uh, before the end of, of fall. Great. These will be some of the strongest young men and women you've seen around. <laughs> Good. That's, I agree. Uh -huh. They're built. <laughs> it's actually okay. Fog Farm Conservation Area. Not yeah. to make a big deal of a minor thing, but it's yep. <laughs> if we want the absolute correct title. Thank you very yes. much. If that's um, um, we need to we vote. do need to take the vote. So all in favor of the motion. Thank you. Now you can now you okay. Thank now you, Tim. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming. Thank and you, too. Sitting uh, there. I do appreciate the uh, can we background work done on this. On the website somewhere. You're welcome. Yes. <clears throat> that would be interesting for people to see. Tim, uh, when you get back, would you be able to send me an email with those photos you dropped off so I can, uh, a PDF would be excellent, or, or even if you have it in Word, I can convert it and get it up on the website. I think I can figure out how to do that. Send it to you. Just send it to me via email, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I just thought it would be interesting for folks to see on the website because those are some pretty substantial things. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not everyone sees them, and if people see the type of thing we have out there, they may be inspired to go out mm -hmm. and Maybe they walk it. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. It's not two two poles laid down over the creek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, it's not. Right. Uh, well, you have to try your balance, mother. Uh, <laughs> considering an agenda for uh, 18137, consider agenda for the upcoming volunteer appreciation brunch on June 23rd. Um, basically, you have the agenda in front of you, uh, which is. Um, this year, we try to do different things from year to year. This year, it's a, a brunch. Um, a brunch. And then there's uh, five things on the agenda. And it's basically uh, um, making those awards and um, presentations and appreciating volunteers. And I hope everyone will be there. It is my father and mother-in-law's 65th anniversary, which I will be out of state for. I so I, say, I, bet you won't be I send my regrets, but you don't miss 65th <coughs> anniversaries no. or even get to go to very many. So That's exactly. um, uh, I certainly um, uh, give my well wishes. So I, I don't think we need to do anything on this. This is informational, I believe. I, um, I would request the one thing I'm looking for is maybe some names for folks that might want to um, speak about oh, yes. um, items one through three or agenda items one through three. Um, tr try to, um, and we can do this after the meeting or, or however, we'll but right um, uh, see if anybody's interested in um, doing the Boston Post or um, giving a statement about volunteerism, things like that. Yes, yeah, we, we'd really like to have you as elected representatives uh, participate in giving these awards to citizens and recognizing them. So if you are around, um, if you can be part of that presentation, mm -hmm. talk to Eric, get on the agenda. Um, Why great, don't we do it right now so we get out of the way? Okay. Who's going who's gonna to go? I'll go. Do you need us to also do the awards part? Uh, no, the, the, um, the, the, the folks that did the nomination for the Spirit of America uh, and uh, uh, typically okay. give the awards. Okay, so, great. Yeah. So I what do you need from us? I'll do the Boston Post game. Okay. I'm, I don't know where we are. I don't have any clue. I don't have it either. I don't know. Uh, oh, here we go. It's, it's the back page. It's on page. Yes. Oh, for the Double heavens sided to stuff Betsy. Here. Yes. Back page of what? 
Um, the last page of the uh, last um, okay. RFP. So everything's double-sided, so yeah. It's <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, sorry, God bless you, and all there is. Um, Are you going? Do I'm we going. each give one? Could, I'm, could I'm going to this, and then I'm going to Bar Harbor yep. for a week. So I'm nice. excited to get my Bar Harbor trip started off with a little brunchy munchy. So how you want to do the welcome? I, I, I'll you mean be in front of a microphone? I think Chris, I think Chris yes. is the vice oh chair. Oh, Chris, the welcome. Welcome. I'll do the welcome. the vice chair. Chris will do the welcome. The vice no. chair. I'm you not can, there yet. You can do the um, volunteering appreciation yeah. statement. Yeah, I like that. Okay, yes, I can do that. Sorry, I'll do it well. Step on That's all right. And I do have the plural in parentheses, so if John wanted to as well, it's entirely... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you guys can share if you're You around, did trash no. pickup. I couldn't make it, so I can yeah, make sure it, I'm the new guy. Us. Give me whatever you think is uh, I took valid. five minutes, you see that. Okay, Although well, I am a good public speaker. Thank you, Catherine, for recommending that we just go ahead and do that. Get yeah, could just go ahead and do it. Yep. We'll move on to 18138, which is to consider an RFP for audit services. So uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, th this actually came out of, uh, uh, th well, the budget committee itself. But I recall earlier on when we had a joint meeting with them, there was some discussion about that we should uh, be looking at doing this every several years. Yes. Yeah. And it's been... Um at least five, maybe auditor. maybe ten, uh, with the same auditor, and so it's time to um, uh, to look around uh, and and see what's out there. Also, to just reassess because we're not the same town we were five or ten years ago. We have a very different structure uh, with some of our accounting, um, and um, uh, th things change over time. So uh, it's not a bad idea to get a fresh look. Uh, this uh, RFP um, was based on one that we had done. Uh, several years ago, it was actually a, a collaborative effort with the school and, or the RSU and um, and the town of Reedfield and maybe even one other town. Um, but it was long enough ago that we we took um, took it, uh, modified it uh, to meet our current needs and expectations, uh, and uh, it was a good basis. Uh, a lot of the numbers did change because we we have. Um, again grown and changed over the years so uh, this is a three plus two um, uh, type of contract where we have an initial term of three years uh, with the option of extending uh, up to two uh, more if if we can uh, successfully negotiate that with the uh, with the successful bidder um, the idea here is to send this out to uh, a list provided by the state of Maine of I think it's close to two dozen pre-qualified audit firms uh, also get it out on the Maine Municipal Association website uh, and try to get a broad reach because uh, auditing is one of those services where uh, we could have an auditor come from New Hampshire um, to do this for us. The, the um, fortunate and unfortunate thing that we uh, have is that uh, the standards for accounting are set at um, uh, through um, the GASPI General Accounting Standards Board. Uh, and so it's the same everywhere you go. Uh, and municipal government, um, um, many of them operate the same way with a modified accrual basis of accounting, which is what we operate under. Uh, some do uh, full accrual, some, some have a different um, uh, approach, but we are on the modified basis. Uh, and so any, any firm that uh, has done that in the past can do that for us. So we, we have a, a big pool, uh, is what I'm trying to get at here, uh, and I am excited to get this out. Uh, we, of course, will uh, open it up to our current auditor uh, with the condition they provide a different um, a lead person on that so that if we do have um, the same relationship continue, it will be with a different set of eyes and a different principal leading that audit for us uh, because this is one of the most important uh, functions of government. Um, uh, ensuring that the money is being spent appropriately. So uh, this will help us do that uh, and ensure a, um, uh, a very clear working relationship. A lot of this document relates to uh, the roles and expectations of the audit firm. Um, you know, what they provide is pretty well established. Uh, we have the notes, we have the statements, we have the, the tables. Uh, all of that is fairly standard. So what, what we're looking for is um, some certainty around the other areas of that engagement and that involvement. So um, I think it's been a, a, a pretty, um, uh, pretty good relationship so far with our current auditor, but um, there's no reason uh, not to do this. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what we find. 
I have a question in here. Sure, please. I think this is a change. I, it's on page six and seven. It deals with the timeline for yes. submitting. Um, and I believe this is a much stepped up schedule than what we have been receiving of it as of late. It is, you noticed, yeah. Yes, um, and so I am just um, double checking that yep. this says that we will, you'll receive essentially a trial run by December 15th and the final version by December 31st. We mean what we say. Uh, right. I, I'm tired of getting our audit in May. Yeah, um, or, I agree. Or uh, even a draft in February. We have a budget process that has been pushed back by about two months because of our secret ballot um, change. Uh, we've right. been struggling to realize, you know, what's been, you know, uh, happening around some of that. But it finally, it, it at least came to me that, you know, part of the reason we're having this challenge is that, you know, we, we're, we're really needing to be further ahead than we are. Uh, you know, it seems as though we're getting through the bu budget process and we still don't have the audit. Yes, the audit's delayed, but we've mm -hmm. also stepped back when we need that information to be ready for the audit process. So um, this uh, contract uh, and bid um, puts that back to really where it should be, which is six months after the end of the fiscal year. Uh, there's no reason we can't be um, getting our audit done in that time or be important enough to our audit firm that we get that done in that period of time. Uh, and sure, if there's a, an extenuating circumstance, we could negotiate something, but uh, it really shouldn't be um, uh, that we're having to wait until March uh, or April or May to get our full audit. Very good. I agree. Good move. So. Um, so just as in large contracts, which I know this really isn't, but what's the penalty if it's not? Can, uh, we, can we get out of the three, four, or five-year contract? Yeah, we can get out of it at uh, any time. Um, and if they fail to deliver, we, we, are assess, we can assess a 20% uh, penalty on whatever the, the agreed to t uh, amount is. So it and would be a minimum of $1,000. Uh, that 20% is yes. Okay. Um, it is. Perfect. It's buried somewhere. I can't say exactly where, but it, okay. it, we do reserve the right to Here it is, at any the period. Here it is. Proposal guarantee. Yep. There we go. What page yep. is that? It's on eight. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. I'm in favor of this. <coughs> you said you had some feedback from the from the budget committee that was considered in building this. Yes, RFP. and they caught some typos, and they uh, made some uh, uh, recommendations for uh, some language you, changes. Yeah. The only reason I yeah. ask is I just want to give appreciation to the budget committee for uh, helping us prepare this. Yeah, and for inspiring us to take this step. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. Good. Great idea. That it's just wonderful all around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to make a motion to approve the RFP. Um, the 2018 R audit RFP and request the town manager to send it out as soon as possible. Second. Did you get that after I stumbled over it? Thank you, Kristen. Okay, it's been moved and seconded uh, to uh, proceed with the <coughs> RFP. Uh, for, the, for the audit, uh, any discussion on the motion? All in favor? Thank you. Yeah. It sounds like we probably will have a number of applicants to, to uh, evaluate it. Uh, I'm sure we will. I think and from that uh, wider net. Yeah, yeah. Um, I expect that what I'd like to do is have uh, the budget committee uh, assist with the review process, much like we do with any bid process, uh, and conduct uh, an interview with one or more of the um, of the applicants. So, um, I think we gave two or th two or three weeks uh, bef between the due date and the June select board meeting, or maybe it's July. I can't remember which. But uh, the the goal is to get this done and wrapped mm -hmm. up uh, fairly quickly. Good. Good. Um, Consider the process for the town manager semi-annual <coughs> review. So this is, um, where are we at, Eric? This must be for 30 months? Oof. Something like that, yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, it'll yeah. be, it'll be, it'll be uh, three years in October, so we're 30 months. Yep, yeah, this is the 30-month yeah. review, so. And you're still um, here. And yeah. That's so good so news. We were newbies when he was hired. <laughs> yeah, so the, ex the explanation is we, we review the town manager uh, annually in a 360 fashion, which is a deeper dive, and then um, we have a six-month review 
which is more periodic, and uh, that's carried out by the executive by an executive session. And I mean, we do uh, report out publicly yeah. uh, that we've completed the review. Um, and uh, so basically, uh, in your packet, you'll see the process that we've used in the past. And I guess my question would be, is there anything we should do to edit that? Um, and I guess the only recommendation I would like to do is uh, I think we should be able to do this in one fell swoop. Uh, usually we do two executive sessions, one where we uh, get information together um, and the board uh, talks, uh, if you will, about the information that's gathered. And then the second executive session is um, where, where we would give the feedback to the town manager. Um, and then usually after that we would, um, not necessarily that same night, but maybe at the next board meeting we would uh, give um, basically a quick recap or, or, or report out that we've completed the review. Uh, so I'm, what I'm proposing is that we do both executive <coughs> sessions on one night in idea. June. We'll just yeah. do one beforehand meeting. where we'll, uh, the, you know, we'll have completed our forms, each of us, and we'll uh, put that information together and, um, and then at, at the end of uh, that board meeting we would stay a little later um, and do the second executive session or we could do them back to back uh, you know we can we can figure out how that's going to schedule best for all for yeah all. could we could we since it's an executive session can we come like 5 30 do our part do Eric's part and then go to our meeting we could do that or we could do six and then do the select board meeting and do this afterwards what um, date is our meeting in June uh, the 11th it would be the 11th the day before elections Oh, we do have a meeting before. We do, and then okay. um, the, 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 I think you discussed the possibility of having a retreat or some um, you know, yeah, something on the 25th if, if there was a meeting held that day. Um. What would the board's um, pleasure be? I'd like to get it all done before the meeting. Okay. So 5.30 to 6.30. Can you guys make a 5.30 to 6.30? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> I'm just looking at that date, so. Since it's the night before elections, the meetings will be downstairs, too. Well, yeah, it would be down. The whole meeting's going to be downstairs. The whole meeting will be downstairs. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That works. Um, speaking of that, I want to uh, thank Bill again for setting up our AV cart uh, and um, technology downstairs. So now we do have uh, a camera uh, and a, a big um, uh, screen and uh, technology to um, do similar things to what we do up here uh, down there and uh, even some more actually I think as far as uh, small committee um, tele telecommunication things like that oh, so great. Um, it's, Thanks, it's Bill. well set up for a meeting downstairs so any scheduling um, concern on your end I mean other than I night for election? On that night 530 is that okay with you, you, okay, um, Dennis? you want me there at 530 six or One in there at six. we would want you there at six sure yeah I yeah. can do six yeah, yeah. We're going to beat on you a little bit. <laughs> just re are we, can you remind me? Can you just send out a thing? <coughs> Wait, I'll write it right now. Yeah, no, right right now. yeah. I'm It'll be on our agenda. It'll that have comes to be out announced anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and yeah. okay, just give me the date again. Six eleven Monday. There, there will be an email on this. Five thirty. Because yeah. what I'll what I usually do to eight is I will give Eric <laughs> an email with the form, and then he will dispense that to all of you, and I, and I'll review the form just. I don't think there's anything that needs to be changed whatsoever, but um, I think I usually provide some sort of directions or something. So, oh, yeah. okay. Jawohl. So okay. I, you'll get that this week. Perfect. Great. Um, okay. Future agenda items. So we are going to meet on the 11th, and um, the only other thing I see out would be to. Um, <coughs> I don't want to be presumptuous about setting a, a select board retreat date because okay. um, uh, we'll have an election before then. Um, but I would earlier be uh, the desire of the board, you think? Early? When yeah. did we have it? I think last year we did it August. in August. It's, yeah, I, not later than August. 
since two of us are teachers and we can't right. really take well, time. Well, I'm, we I'm wondering so. if, if, if it should be done in June. Said. Yeah. June? Right, Eric? Sorry, what? <laughs> we had tentatively set June 25th. Uh, we, we talked about it a little we, bit. We just we did put talk it, about put it, it back and forth. But, um, June, we have also have two teachers that are usually pretty tight up, unless it's towards the end of June. Yeah. Well, well, I, I think done by then, that. but... Acadia. Well, that's just it. I go to Acadia on the 23rd, and right, I'll be so there through available. the 2nd of July. Okay, so that yeah. retreat should be done in July. Yes. I think so. Okay. And when okay. did... We end up with new elected members taking office. Well, now we take office the day of the election. They take office immediately. Okay. I that, thought that had changed. Yep, it had okay. changed. It was confirmed yep. by town meeting vote. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. So that's the way it is um, going forward. So what do we know what our dates are for July and August for our meetings? No, we could go ahead and we could make a determination on those now. And so the idea would be we would have one meeting each month. Right, yep. but we need that to be within a certain length of time from our last one, right? Yeah, well, so, sort of. Um, I'm willing to run the gambit a little harder on that. So if it's the 11th, if we could meet the week after Dennis is back, I don't have a calendar up, so. Um, the 9th? The 9th yeah. is our regularly scheduled meeting in July. Yep. Is that enough time, Eric, for you to get the business handled? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I mean we, we would do the 25th um, as an off warrant anyway. So, again, we're still doing the biweekly financial. Right. Um, and we just have um, the individual members of the board sign individually, um, mm -hmm. wherever they happen to be. Uh, and um, so no July 23rd. Well, so what I was thinking is maybe we could do July 23rd as our select board retreat. July 9th would be our meeting. Retreat would be the 23rd. Just throwing that out there. Works for me. When are you gone? Me? Yeah. Um, probably Not sometime then. in August. I'm gone in August. What, what do you, July 23rd? That's a Monday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because I'm gone the 24th, 25th, 26th. Is that tight for you then? Yeah. The 23rd? Yeah. I would also probably request a half day that item. 23rd, I'm sorry, but I know I'm teaching a theater camp. If it can happen, it can't be early. It would have to be afternoon. Well, well we, were, we were thinking evening, weren't we? We were thinking about doing a dinner, yeah, we having thinking, dinner. Yeah, um, Yeah. great. Never mind. Maybe like dinner sorry, 4 to 8 or something. Part. Yeah, so, cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And Let's actually, do the 23rd that, that, then. That time block, uh, Chris and I went to that training um, at MMA, and it was a similar time block, and it worked out great. Yeah. It was like three hours. It was long, but um, they had food, and um, it was... It was a good time, I yeah, thought. To, it was to a good time to, yeah, it went fast. Yep, yep. Okay, great. Um, and why don't we also make a determination when the August meeting is? Okay, so we just said July 11 is the regular meeting. July 9th. July 9th? Yep. 9th, right? Monday the 9th, yes. yeah. Sorry. June 11th is the, yeah. That's why we do this. So August 6th is the next one. Or the 20th. So July. Yeah. Yeah. I will not be here on the 6th, but you can function without me. So you're talking about when the two-week cycle hits? Yeah, the 6th would be the... Is it always necessary that we hit that? Because we can sign and then approve. It's, it's helpful to make sure the checks go out on a regular basis. So I would very much like to stick to the two-week... Um, Four-week. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So 9th is our regular meeting. 23rd is the retreat. August 6th would then be the reg two weeks after. But I can tell you, I'll be in New York City then. Yeah. But to Bruce's point, um, if we c the, the financial piece really needs to stay on that, that every other week mm -hmm. regimen. But business, uh, outside of that, you could pick a Wednesday night and do your business if you wanted to. Um, I, I don't see any issue with that whatsoever. Um, no, what I'm talking about is do we need to be restricted to 26 Mondays as being our choice, or can we be on the off cycle for one of those? So, for example, what I'm oh, saying is yeah. could we meet on the 13th 
Uh, but we've already had three signatures on the 6th, and we can yep. approve yep. our warrants with the vote on the 13th, for example. Absolutely. So meet I'm, on thinking, the 13th I'm thinking for meeting more in the middle of the month. For yeah. August. Just, um, yeah. just seems to make a little bit more sense to me. Yeah, no, that, that could be fine, too. Um, I'm just, my, my, only, my only goal is to protect that financial every two weeks. Um, and if that's clear and where we're all set with that, how, how you conduct the rest of your business is, is up to you. Yeah. No. Right. Well, um, yeah. So we don't need to have a necessarily a meeting on the sixth because we do handle off all right. the time. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, but we want to make sure there's three board members here for the sixth. And there will not be. And well, <coughs> if, if anybody's absent, it would just be the three of you. Yeah. Well, and and I I, I did check uh, with MMA because I know that there is some t um, tr a lot of travel being mm -hmm. planned this summer. Uh, and um, they read our um, ordinance to be broad enough that uh, seen and signed individually, uh, to mean seen and signed individually. Uh, so if um, uh, a member of the board is, is afar uh, um, and uh, wants to review a PDF uh, and, and then um, sign it uh, and, and submit that, then that would be signed and seen individually. Uh, and so that is a permissible uh, tack. Um, they'd love to see something a little bit more clear, um, explicitly allowing for that, but um, we do have that option. Okay, so that's a possible <coughs> ordinance uh, review item for next year. Definitely. In the meantime, if we get really stuck, we can do that. Yep. Uh, but we'll try to do physical um, three members proving. I mean, yeah. obviously we'd like to get all five signatures on. Right. Yep. Um, and we eventually do. You, you eventually do, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But that still yeah. doesn't mean we need Less to have any objections, which we haven't had for a few years. So. So. No. Maybe we could skip the 6th and meet on the 20th. Right. I can sign on the 6th. I can sign on the 6th. John, you yeah, can sign here. on the 6th. Okay, great. And who will actually be on at that time for doing Lawrence? Who does the first? Do I do the first? Uh, I think you got to figure that out I'll after be the June. First. Oh, that's right. We'll be I'll figuring be that first. out. It's a brand new world. That's right. Um, Dennis will be off the hook then. That's yeah. right. <coughs> okay, let's not even worry about you that. Were the first okay, so we will meet on August 13th? 13th or 20th. Well, what's your, what's your pleasure? I'm not here on the 13th. 20th then. Of August? Yeah, are you here? The 20th? Yes. I probably won't be, but I don't really. I'm going to meet him. I'm going to miss a meeting at some point, so. Well, about the on 20, the 13th, the who's available on the 13th? I, I'm, I don't know. Okay. My wife's retired. <laughs> she retired? She's retiring, so oh. we, we may be gone for the month of August or September. We're not sure yet. Awesome. Nice. I'll do it Good. in September. Good. Get out. Go do something. Well, what do so we I, want? I would just go 20. with your date. <clears throat> when, well, only I got to get elected first. Let's do 13. Yeah. Let's do 13. Okay. Okay, 13. August 13th. Aug 1 3. Because that'll be right after Family Fun Day and we can talk about it. Yep. Yeah. I'm more likely to be around then, too. Okay. I'm going by whatever insects are out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, then I have a. Oh, you're not there yet. Go ahead. Um, just on the agenda items, um, we had been working on ordinances that mm -hmm. we could put forth in November. Yep. And one was the fire department. And yes. the other was... Um, Traffic and parking and such things. Right, that other one. Yep. <laughs> um, and so I'd just like to see us keep working on those. And yeah. I know there's deadlines for that. And it's like, is it 60 days or 45 days ahead? Do you remember, Kristen? So I think these are good good retreat back. items to look at too. Yeah, because that would be mm. September, middle of September. Yeah. Well, I, I think that the the um, only ones that require have that have a time requirement um, would be like the land use ordinance changes. Um, I think that um, other ordinances just require the the extended ten days the 10 hearing day before. Time. Yep, um, and I and actually. Um, we can talk about it more at the retreat, but the um, uh, parking and traffic ordinance can actually be enacted by the select board without um, a, a public 
pu process, but I think the intent of this board probably would be to hold a public process anyway. So, um, but that's a whole other piece. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk about that at the tree. The tree. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, good. We have a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I second that. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. All in favor? Hallelujah. All right.